So it, it really depends on the person, right? And, and hydrogen, you can call it kind of like a smart molecule because it, it seems to regulate our response to stress. And there's all sorts of varying stress. So for instance, if you put a hydrogen-rich medium on a completely healthy cell, you observe no changes. Now, if you artificially damage that cell, then you see all these protective effects coming into play to reverse the damage. And, and what changes depends on what type of damage you introduce. So for instance, uh, we, in our clinical research, and, and these are some of our, our claims that we can make, we, we have something called a, a CARS report, which is uh, you know, careful and reliable scientific evidence. And it was done by four independent expert professors in the field who, who reviewed all of our direct evidence and all the supporting evidence and issued these 21 claims, which is massive. Um, but we, we reversed metabolic syndrome for instance, in people with metabolic syndrome. In one of our clinical trials, we, we showed, I think it was uh, significant um, changes in 20 of 21 measured outcomes. We, we've likewise, you know, the, the trial has shown improvements on non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, one of these other lifestyle, you know, induced elements like pre-diabetic states, NAPLD and metabolic syndrome. We've shown weight loss, in four different studies. But again, all of those populations were overweight. Uh, we've shown improvements in brain metabolism in four different study groups. So we showed improvements in brain metabolism in the elderly, and we saw actually a lot of cool changes in the elderly. So in the elderly population, we also saw this was a 70 plus population, six months, double blind placebo controlled study. We lengthened telomeres, we improved DNA methylation, we uh, doubled this protein in the blood called TET2. So TET2, TET2 has been linked to young blood. Uh, for any listeners that have seen the vampire research in mice, where you take the blood of a young mouse and put it in an old mouse and it reinvigorates the, the skeletal tissue, that's linked to TET2. Hydrogen doubled that. Um, we improved the brain metabolism, like I mentioned. We improved some functional outcomes as well. Like it, it improved their quality of life scores predominantly by reducing pain. Um, it improves some sleep outcomes. And uh, it, the biggest one, in my opinion, it improves some parameters of the senior fitness test. So for instance, how many times the elderly people could sit and stand before getting tired actually went in hydrogen group over six months. And importantly, this trial was done in early stages of the pandemic. So these people were not going to the gym. The average age was like 77 yet they somehow were stronger and fitter at the end of the trial where the placebo group, as expected, was less fit at the end of the trial. Yeah. So yeah. That, that was huge.